Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be doing a Moto G30 review and specifically the camera. The GSM Arena gave a really good review of the camera, but let's see if what they say stacks up to reality. So to do this, I'm going to be comparing the Moto G30 with a uh, Realme 6S, which they also gave a, a good review of with regards to the camera. I've take, taken various shots around the neighborhood, different light conditions, different colors and what have you. And we're going to see how the uh, G30 stacks up to the Realme 6S. So this is the Realme 6S. Generally, it looks OK, but it's not fantastic. If we come to the uh, G30, uh, maybe a bit more detail, but it seems pretty close. But if we focus on the stalk here, we can see that the G30 is giving quite a bit of detail. Coming up to the uh, close-up shots, this is the Realme 6S. So if we're just looking at the hairs here, we've got relatively good definition. We can see them quite clearly. And if we look at the G30, perhaps it's a bit softer photo. Um, and maybe the clarity isn't there. So we're gonna say that the Realme 6S has the edge there. If we come on to outdoor low light condition, light here was very, very dim. You can see again that the uh, G30 is struggling here with the definitions very blurred, and we can see that the, the Realme 6S has better sharpness. Then we've got these close-up shots of, the, of a street lamp. Very difficult shot to get. I mean, we've, it's completely black here, and we're looking directly at the bulb. But you can see that the uh, G30 manages to do something with a shot. We can see the definition in the wood. We've got an idea of where the lamp is. We've got the electricity cable. We can see that. If you look at the success, I mean, it has real issues. The uh, selfie cams, the whole frame is not in focus with the G30. Apart from that, I'd say that the G30 has taken a clearly uh, superior photo. So we've got a close-up view of some canes here. You see that the 6S does a very good job here. I think this is perfectly acceptable. The lighting is not bad and the definition is uh, really good, I'd say. If we look at the G30, perhaps arguably a more natural look, more realistic to reality, you know, toward the IC. Again, a slight softness to the edges, good detail. I'd say both, both shots are very good. So we've got these uh, landscape shots. If we just look at the background first and the clouds. So this is the 6S, perfectly acceptable. Very good, I'd say this is very good close to what you would see with the eye come to the g30 again so a different shot different color tinge to it but say it's very good if we can see, we can see the different contours and colors on this hill here and it's not so easy to see that on the 6s if we come to the foreground very sharp maybe lacking in a bit of detail and if we look at the g30 it makes a much better job of the uh, foreground much better lighting if we come to this second outdoor shot looking at the clouds uh, 6s does a very good job as does the uh, g30 um, i'd say that the g30 has probably put a, a bit of a tinge on it maybe i don't remember what the sunset was like this day which do i prefer i probably prefer the g30 it's more more gradients in the colors and if we come up to the foreground the grass here Again, the soft edge with the G30, but it's you know it looks like a good color. This is quite accurate to what you see with the eye. We get the sharpness, maybe exaggerated sharpness with the 6S, but I'd say it's definitely less detail in the G30. I'd say the G30 is definitely superior. And perhaps if we can look at these houses here, I mean, we've got quite a lot of detail with the G30. And if we come to the 6S, yeah, there's not so much there. Definitely a clear win for the G30. If we look at the 6S, it looks like a very decent photo. Again, with the exaggerated sharpness, but not necessarily a bad thing. Everything uh, it looks relatively good. And if we come to the G30, again, the softness to the edges, more fuller colors, more natural. I think this is a running theme with the G30 with a lack of sharpness. If it didn't, if it was a bit sharper, it would be... You know, I think on par with the, the real me success in most of the shots. But I think this is something that you could fix in a photo editing software like GIMP or Photoshop. So for this shot, we're going to say the real me success just wins it. Then we come up to this shot of some conifer trees. You can see very bland color, very flat. Again, with the sharpness on the success. Not great detail, but there is detail there. It's not a bad shot. And then we come on to the G30, much fuller, much more realistic to what the eyes saw better detail, just an all round much better photo. Got a shot here looking down a street. So this is the 6S. I mean, the foreground here looks okay. The background is, looks okay. Decent enough. It's good, good sharpness as always with the 6S. Colors are there. 
maybe lacking in a bit of detail but you know definitely a usable photo and if we come to the G30 I'd say that we've got better detail in the foreground better detail in the background I'd say the G30 is a much nicer much nicer looking photo better quality all round and then we're coming up to the last couple of uh, shots here so we're just looking at the reflections really in this pond or this little uh, drainage canal here yeah decent decent definition with the, with the shadows and if you come to the G30 I'd say we've got much fuller colors the greens come out really well you can see like the little branches and the trees very clearly maybe you'll sort of merge together in the success so again I think a clear win for the G30 and then we come on to this uh, last little bollard that we've got here so if we just look around the edge of it yes yeah, good color maybe a bit overblown on the reds the edge of it looks okay but it lacks a bit of uh, contrast between everything I'd say and uh, this looks pale how does it look in the G30 also looks pale but uh, I'd say we've got like a much better definition on the edge of this uh, bollard here compared to the the success I'd say much better contrast with the G30 again the greens come up fantastic I'd say the red is more or less perfect to what you see with the eye whereas this is sort of a, a little bit overblown you see that the concrete here and the stones are a bit blurred also and you know much better in the G30 again more contrast better sharpness just a better photo all round so in summary I'm a great fan of the the 6s camera for a point and shoot camera for a 160 euro phone I think it comes up with some uh, great shots very fast to focus very very decent but having said that the G30 now is around the same price 180 160 euro but I'd say that yeah, nine times out of ten the G30 is gonna have much superior photographs neither are great in uh, low light conditions but then again we are talking about 180 160 euro phone so I don't think we can be too critical here all in all even though the 6S, in my opinion, has got a fantastic camera for the money, and I'd say GSM Arena have got it nailed on, the 6S review, where they said that it's one of the best cameras in the class. I'd say the G30 is definitely uh, quite a big step forward in the camera quality. Well, I'd say the GSM Arena review of the G30 is absolutely bang on. The photos from it are really good, especially when you consider the price of the phone. So, personally, I'd recommend the G30 over the 6S any day of the week. As always, subscribe to the channel, vote on the video, and I'll see you again in the next one.